Welcome back to BYU Sports Nation. We are live in Studio B with your day-to-day -day BYU Sports play-by-play. -play. I am Spencer Linton, teamed up with Jerem Jordan. It is our privilege now to welcome in the executive director of the New Mexico Bowl. His name is Jeff Simbieta. Jeff, welcome to BYU Sports Nation. Great to be a part of the New Mexico Bowl. It's great to be part of BYU Sports Nation, boys. How you doing? Fantastic. Great. Yeah, I think we all kind of want an idea of what fans can expect as they prepare to head to the land of enchantment in Albuquerque in preparation for what looks to be a really, really fun matchup against SMU. Yeah, good time in a good town, in a, in a good place. And I know old school BYU fans are certainly familiar with, with, uh, with Albuquerque after years and years and years of being in the same league, whether it was the WAC or the Mountain West with, with New Mexico. But uh, I think you'll expect great hospitality, wonderful people, and we'll see what the weather looks like. Just just getting a glimpse at the whatever it is, 11-day, 12-day, 10-day, whenever you get here. It looks like it's going to be clear and cool and nice. And then um, and great food, by the way, and oh, great yes. people. And when, and when we, yeah, there, there, there's nothing like New Mexican food. I'm not a native. I've been here 26 years, so I don't know what, what point you're from somewhere. Uh, but there's nothing like New Mexican food. And and, uh, and and so eat the green chili and everything. I mean, your burritos and your pizza, whatever it is you have, like there's a recommendation for you. But um, I, I think when you get here, game day is going to be great. Uh, the, the atmosphere should be terrific with two teams that are finishing on such a high with great fan bases. And then um, the news yesterday that we did get moved into that prime time on ABC window. So there'll be a lot of eyes on this game. This, this is a pretty exciting one. Yeah, ABC, 5.30 uh, Mountain Time. That's going to be awesome, man. Um, I went to the New Mexico Bowl in 2010 against UTEP with BYU. I had a great experience, so I highly recommend it. Check it out. Talk to me about this matchup and able to, uh, to get an SMU team who comes in 5-2 and two since October 14th. The two lost to Cincinnati and Tulane. Respectable. BYU turned it around, and uh, they are bowl eligible as well. Yeah, no, I love the matchup, actually. And, I, I, you know, we, we've had a lot of great games over there. This is our 17th game, and uh, we've had some terrific games. I don't know that we've ever had – well, uh, there, there's been a lot of excitement. But going in, you know, when we hit Selection Sunday, to hit a matchup like this where everybody's kind of going, wow, okay, I, I, I see what you're doing there, and that – it, it's it's something that's acceptable for prime time on ABC, which is really big. The matchup Excel. I mean, I, I hear that everybody plays defense. I watch games, and and it's funny. Kalani was on on my show this morning, and we were talking about SMU, and and we talked about their offense, and and Rashi Rice, and and Mordecai, their 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 quarterback, and everything. And he says we haven't even talked. We're only talking about one phase of the game because it, it seems, guys, that's all anybody wants to talk about, right? <laughs> is is these two offenses? So uh, everybody's telling me. Not that I would know about these things. Bet the over is what people tell, but I, I'm not endorsing <laughs> that by any means. Uh, but but it, it's it's it looks you know as we we look at matchups and I think one of the reasons that we've been able to have such great games over the years is is we've worked on putting matchups together. And uh, you look at th these two teams and the way they match up. You look at common opponents and they're really, there really there isn't a lot there. So w what do you look at and and you say okay. You know, Boise State was 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 a big turnaround for BYU season. They beat Baylor. They finished with beating Stanford. And then you look at what SMU did and the way they played TCU, who's in the playoff and played them really well. They scored 77 points against <laughs> Houston and won that game. Um, so, no, there's a, there's a lot of excitement around here. And I think as, as you guys look at it, I mean, you've got to love the matchup, don't you? Absolutely. We well, I love it and I hate it because I'm scared to death well, of that there, SMU offense. There is some trepidation <laughs> for sure. There is, there is legitimate trepidation. Jeff Simbieta, the executive Who director. Play? Let me, let me, who would you rather play? You want me to go change the match, Lucy? We can find for you. you want. I, think, I think we're good now at this, at this point with that prime right. time spot. Okay, Jeff, when yeah. did BYU become a legitimate option for the New Mexico Bowl this year? I, I probably... I, I mean, they've always been on the radar. Um, you know, ESPN events owns our game as, as ESPN own, uh, events owns many of the of the games. And BYU had, is, has a primary um, full tie-in with our games this year. And so when we started looking through the matchups potentially, and we probably start doing, well, I probably start looking in week one or two, right? But as, as they start having relatively formatted conversations a month ago, um, I, I made it very clear I want to be in, in consideration to host BYU again. I, I just, you know, I don't, I don't know a, when we're going to get that opportunity because we don't have a primary with the Big 12 moving forward. Um, the fan base here, there's there's quite a 
large BYU fan base here. And there's plenty of people like somebody called my show today and said, I can't wait to go back out and boo BYU in person again. So <laughs> the, way, the way they resonate. Yeah. Well, you've never heard that before? What, what's the yuck, yuck, yuck? Oh, you never heard that before, right? No, we're, we're very used to it. That's why it's very, funny. Very I, know you are. I know it's a oh, basketball know thing, but maybe it was Snake who called into the show. <sighs> It might have been Snake who, who said that, but I, I, they've been on the radar because I, I, I kind of, you know, made it known that I, I would like to host BYU here. And, and, and then as the conversation started happening over, over the weeks and the potential of this, uh, the flex into ABC, um, this was all contingent. For those who don't know, it was all contingent on a Raiders-Patriots game actually in Vegas being flexed out of the primetime NBC window, which backed them up into an afternoon window, which created an issue in regards to flipping Allegiant Stadium for the Vegas Bowl. And so the Las Vegas Bowl and, and us switched windows and networks. And so that when that became a, a potential, um, I think the conversation became more real. Lots of dominoes, uh, for sure. We're talking to... Uh... It's easy. We're talking about the New Mexico Bowl here. And uh, in, in this matchup, it's interesting because SMU comes in hot, as we mentioned. Jaron Hall's health is certainly a concern for BYU. We were talking about that. And last year, it certainly swayed BYU's game. But in terms of uh, stars in this game and NFL prospects, feels like there's a bunch. We've got some of the nation's best in several categories. Who kind of sticks out for you in terms of what we're going to see in this game? I, I mean, there's I mean, both both sides of the ball and both both teams. Um, I, you know, the easy one is when you say Rasheed Rice, right? I mean, yep. the, the, he was the number one receiver in the nation. Uh, the young man from Purdue, I think he's got it by six yards because he played the championship game. But I look at both sides of the ball and I it, I, I start looking at okay, it, you know, it, it's kind of weird how um, how this works. Uh, you know, I've been doing this game 17 years. And I, I watched guys with the Cowboys game the other night, uh, the, the uh, Sunday night game. Four touchdowns, Michael Gallup and um, uh, the young man on defense, why am I forgetting his name, played for Fresno State last year, had two touchdowns. Four of those guys were New Mexico Bowl alum. And we start looking around, and and I, I almost like proud dad. You know, not that I did. I didn't do a daggum thing, right? All I did was host him at a bowl game. But we've had 100, and I want to say the numbers, we, we got it written down. Ryan's probably got 180-something players in the 17 years who have come through here and, and had – some sort of an NFL career. And so you start looking at the prospects, you get excited, but you know, some of the, some of the greatest moments we've had too, guys are, are, are guys who are not NFL players who have played, maybe it was their last game or one of their last games or, or, or a bowl game where they've stood out as a freshman. And um, it, it, it's, it's crazy how bowl games and college athletics and athletics in general tell stories, right? Because guys sometimes make legends in the postseason. You know, I, I know you have, and I've looked back at the 1980 holiday bowl, the SMU BYU game, the Jim McMahon game. And, I remember that um, I wasn't at that game, but I, I remember the war that I spent eight years in San Diego and, and that was always talked about and, and kind of crazy. Um, I don't know if you knew this and Ryan just told me this the other day, the New Mexico bowl will book and BYU's independence, meaning yeah. yes. they played their last game as a member of the mountain West conference in this game. And they will play their last game as an independent before going to the big 12 here. I didn't mean anything necessarily. It was just kind of an odd fact that hit me. Jeff Simbieta is the executive director of the New Mexico Bowl. We cannot wait to get down there and, yes, experience the food, but the buildup to what, what hopes to be just a fantastic game. We appreciate the time, and uh, we'll see you in New Mexico very soon. Spencer, Jerem, safe travels. Look forward to having you down here and uh, enjoy the hospitality. Reach out to me if there's anything I could do for you. But I, uh, I, here's one thing I know. We'll throw a good party for y'all. Yeah. BYU fans are going to have a great experience down here. I know it's been a minute since many of y'all have been down here. Uh, but come down. We, 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 you know, Over 17 years, I, I know who we are. We're no, I know who we're not. I told Tom Homo that the other day. <laughs> but one thing I, I, I control is how we take care of people. And, and uh, we're going we're gonna to make sure those student athletes and their families and their families and this fan base is treated like they deserve to be treated and uh, has a great time down here. So safe travels and appreciate you spending some time with me. Fantastic. Thanks, Looking Jeff. forward to it. You can leave a little bowl swag on the side for us if you'd like to as well. <laughs> we, we won't say no to that. Two your sizes, boys. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Thanks, Jeff.